good afternoon from Jerusalem, the Jewish capital, on the most special day of the year. I hope you can hear me. We have a beautiful wind today. It is Yom Kippur. It is the holiest day of the Jewish calendar. And that is the only reason why I am standing out here in the midst of one of the biggest intersections in all of Jerusalem. Got the sun in my face. If we're going this way, we're gonna go down to downtown Jerusalem. This way, we have the foreign ministry over here behind me. Going further down, we got the prime minister's office. We got Knesset, the Israeli parliament. If we go this way, <laughs> We're going up to the big central bus station. So of course, everything is closed today. Everybody is, well, normally they would be in the synagogues praying, but Israel is in a full lockdown. It is absolutely unheard of times. So instead of praying in the synagogues, they are out on the streets. They are praying in my streets where I'm living. And as you can see here, normally <laughs> this place would be packed with cars. It is so, so special to be in Israel for such a time as this. During Rosh Hashanah and today Yom Kippur are the 10 days of Ah. It's the days where the Jewish people are repenting for their sins to other people. And today they are repenting uh, in front of God. And then when this day comes to an end, they are sealing the book of life for next year. Today, of course, was the day where the high priest went into the holiest of the holy. In the temple, on the temple mount, going into the holiest of the holiest, spraying blood on the Ark of the Covenant to atone the sin of a nation. But as we all know, the first temple and the second temple was ruined on the Temple Mount. And today the Jewish people are not even allowed to pray. Uh, the Jewish people are not pray, allowed to pray on the Temple Mount. So one day that will change. But I just wanted to show you how remarkable this is that I'm standing out here only being surveillance by here by the foreign ministry and everything is completely shut down. Of course, this is unheard of. The Jewish people are not happy about it. Uh, to be confined in their home, first for Pesach, then for Rosh Hashanah, now for Yom Kippur. And then, of course, when we reach Friday, it's going to be the Feast. Uh, it's going to be Tabernacles. The Feast of Tabernacles is going to be Sukkot. That's the feast where we celebrate. That's where the Jewish people are building a sukkah and they go out, they eat. Some people are sleeping in the sukkah. They go and they, they visit uh, each other in the sukkahs. And again, this year, it is not allowed. So it is completely unprecedented times here in the Holy Lands. And we miss all of the tourists. A lot of you are asking, when can we come to Israel? Probably not until the year 2021. Uh, we need to get this, the numbers of this pandemic down. The numbers are very high every day. So as I'm standing here all alone, there were just some children coming on a bike very very special times but keep praying for Israel keep praying for the Israeli governments they are right down here on the streets pray for the Prime Minister pray for the unity government who is not very much united that better times are coming here to the Holy Land Jerusalem Jane sending much love to all of you bye